How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. It is currently 2.20 in the morning where I live, which is great because it is the perfect time to go on a rant in my opinion. I'm going to try to use family friendly language the whole time. So let's see if I can pull it off. It shouldn't be that hard because I'm not looking at actual cars. So I don't really need to quote unquote roast them as you guys say, even though I just say stupid shit half the time. Um, I don't have to do that, so I'm not gonna, I, I don't know, we'll see if I, if I can pull it off. But, uh, today I'm gonna be talking about five mods that I personally don't consider a modification to your car. As in, say you're at a car meet and you ask someone to break down their build. If they say this, you know, among some other mods, I just, you know, I would kind of just like ignore it because I wouldn't consider it a mod. That's what I'm saying. Obviously, people have different definitions of a modification and technically these are modifying your car. But just because these mods are on this list does not mean they are ricer mods either. So don't get that mixed up. Like I said, these I just would say are more personal touches or personal preference at that matter. So don't think that they are ricer mods. I'm not dissing these mods. Nothing against these mods. I just, like I said, don't think they are real mods. Anyway, let's just dive right in with the first one. The first one we're going to be talking about is Plasti Dipping Wheels or Badges. Now, I wouldn't consider Plasti Dip a Ricer mod. I wouldn't consider Plasti Dip a bad mod. If you do it incorrectly, it looks very cheap and tacky, and then you know it can be borderline rice, but you're not really doing anything crazy or trying to look any faster. Changing the color of the wheels and having the ability to remove it anytime is just kind of nice. It's kind of convenient. But if I asked someone at a car meet and they were going like, oh, I have a K&N intake and I have a uh, speed chip and I Plasti Dip my wheels, I just wouldn't really take the Plasti Dip in the wheels all that serious. I wouldn't take really any of that all that serious. But you know, you guys know what I'm saying, okay? Plasti Dipping your wheels is convenient, but I don't think it's really a modification that you should be like super proud of. Now, yeah, if it comes out nice and shit, it's cool. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. Like I said, I have Plasti Dipped wheels. You guys don't need to go in the comments and say, Drew Peacock, you moron, you stupid 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 head you have plasti dip wheels what are you talking about you ricer yeah i know i have plasti dip wheels but like i said i don't consider it a modification i wouldn't you know break down my my build and be like yeah i'm so proud of this this modification right here that's what i'm talking about anyway quick little thing you know also blacking out your badges and shit it's cool and it can make your car's appearance change but i wouldn't call it a modification i hope you guys can kind of get what i'm saying anyway it's two in the morning i don't really know what the fuck i'm saying either damn it bleep that out all right i guess if i were to compare these mods or make an analogy out of them this is going to be a weird you know middle of the night thought right here but i guess you can kind of call them the sprinkles of a car because when you think about it the sprinkles on a cake they enhance the cake they don't do anything really that bad to the cake they enhance it for the most part unless they're you know placed wrong or done wrong or they're nasty sprinkles but they don't really do anything major to the cake they don't improve the taste all that much they're just kind of there just like these mods are Next up, we're moving to the interior, and I think painting the interior, like with a rattle can or the engine bay, just, you know, simple, cheap stuff, you know, say you're taking off your oil fill cap and you just spray paint it red just to look sportier. Again, if someone said that they, you know, customized their interior or something like that and they just took a rattle can to it, I wouldn't really consider that a modification. Nothing wrong with it. Like I said, it just can look tacky and, you know, look kind of cheap. But there's nothing really wrong with it. It just can kind of make your car, like I said, overall look cheaper. A lot of this stuff kind of breaks down a personal preference. You know, you can make stuff look killer with rattle cans. You can make stuff look killer with, you know, airbrush shit. You can make stuff look really nice. But if you're just going to go rattle can your center, your center console and your steering wheel, I think at the end of the day, it's going to look, you know, pretty bad. And I wouldn't consider that a modification. Taking your speaker covers off and spray painting them red, I don't think that's a modification. Like I said, everyone's build will be different. Everyone's own thought process behind their build will be different. But like I said, personal preference, I wouldn't consider that a modification. If someone was breaking down their list to me and they said, yeah, you know, I got the axle back, different wheels, different tire setup, lowered suspension, and I uh, spray painted my interior red, I, like I said, I just, I would ignore that part. Next up, we have the one that a lot of people get butthurt about in my videos, and it's based on a true story, weather guards. If you guys are new to my channel and you hear me dissing weather guards, uh, first of all, I don't have anything really against weather guards. It's just a story. This is, this is a true story right here. This video is kind of based on a true story. Someone was explaining their mods to me, and they said the weather guards was a mod. And that's just, again, I just thought it was the funniest thing ever. And the car was, you know, a, a POS, again, family friendly language. The car was a POS. They broke down their mod list and a bunch of these were on the mod list. Like I said, this is all kind of just based on the car. And um, <laughs> I just, I 
legit was just, I was like, really? Those cheap little plastic things that you just tacked on your window? That's like, that's a mod? Like, that's just what I'm thinking. And again, it's nothing against weather guards. I know they all serve a purpose, but it's just funny how a lot of these things kind of get grouped together on ricer cars where you'll see the Honda Civic with the plastic dipped wheels, plastic dipped fuel door, which I actually should have been on this list. Um, uh, pa painted interior, you know, some baby blue or some red or some orange or yellow, you know, just whatever the hell their whole, their whole car is going for. And then on top of that, they'll tack on the, the weather weather guards and the wing and stuff like that just stuff like that like i said i just don't think weather guards is an actual mod you know if someone's tacking weather guards onto their car they're just as easy to put on as to get off so i don't really think it's a mod like i said again personal preference i'm gonna say that for all of these so don't go in the comments and be like weather guards are nice i live in seattle and i it rains a lot and it's good when i'm smoking in my car like okay that you know personal preference i just don't think it's a mod next up very common on cars stickers and banners okay nothing against stickers nothing against banners if you're trying to wrap your car club good for you if you're trying to wrap your car parts good for you if you're trying to wrap car parts that you don't have that's where it gets kind of sketch okay yeah you might be a fan of sparko but you don't have sparko seats in your civic hatch i don't know kid i don't know what you're going for here but uh, i could clearly see in your fishable honda civic that uh you don't have sparko seats or Brembo brakes for that matter. Okay, yeah, you you have the KNN filter. I'm pretty sure you have that. And I could see the sticker prominently placed on your window. But uh the stickers and decorating your car like that, that's not a modification. This one I was kind of, you know, I'm kind of reaching for this one. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say stickers is a modification. If you have heard that, let me know down in the comments. But I personally have never heard anyone claim stickers as a modification. I mean, we all know they make your car faster. We all know, you know, what is it, like five horsepower per sticker? I believe that's what uh, the common knowledge is, at least here in America. Maybe in the UK it might be a little bit different. Honestly, I mean, banners, yeah, it's cool. You know, re repping, you know, Japanese muscle, American muscle, your car club or whatever. It's cool, but it's not a modification you know you can't post on instagram new mods coming and you just threw a banner on your car or something i mean it's just i don't think it's a modification um again personal preference like i said i'm gonna say that a lot you're gonna hear me say that a lot but personal preference if someone was telling me their mod list and someone said yeah i, I, I decorated my rear window with all these stickers from ebay and i threw a banner on that said honda on the front uh, I don't again. It's not a mod. Yeah, you're customizing your car and making it more unique to you and in the Honda community But um, personally, I wouldn't see that as a mod next quote-unquote mod that I'm gonna be talking about is tinting windows a lot of people say drew peacock your next mod should be tinting windows I've actually gotten this comment a lot and one I'm not a huge fan of tinted windows at least for my use when I'm out driving I like to see if there's cops around I know you can with, you know, tinted windows too, but I like to be able to see a lot, okay? Like, yeah, people can see me too, but I don't really mind that. I like being able to see if there's a cop behind me, if there's a cop, you know, on the street next to me or something like that, a cop coming my way. I like being able to see that, but I get that comment a lot. Drew Peacock, your next mod should be tint. Tint would look good. That's a great mod for you. Like, tint isn't a mod. <laughs> tint is personal preference. That is for sure personal preference. Um, tint does look good on a lot of cars, and I used to have tint on my car, actually. I removed it. For that exact fact i like being able to see and ever since I, I it's just been a lot more comfortable for me just seeing shit yeah it gets annoying with the sun hitting me in the face when i'm driving on the highway but honestly i'm so happy that i can see i don't have to worry about a cop creeping up behind me um when i got pulled over i actually saw him coming you could hear the video um if you've seen it i i, I go oh god or something like that and i hear him coming up behind me or i see him coming up behind me and uh, I actually kind of shit my pants a little bit. But um, tint, I wouldn't really call that a mod. Yeah, you're making your car more comfortable. But I think that's about that's about as much of a modification as like changing your speakers or something like that. I mean, a subwoofer, maybe. But changing your speakers, that's not a mod either. That's not really on this list. But I'm just, you know, explaining why I don't think tint is a mod. Or even like seat covers. Seat covers and tint, I feel like that's like the same category right there. Like it's just comfort at that point. And the last quote unquote mod that we're gonna be talking about is, drum roll please. That was the weakest drum roll ever because it is two, what, 30 in the morning now. Um, the last quote unquote mod that we're gonna be talking about is debadging a car. Debadging a car is very, very popular. Nothing against it, it's not a ricer mod. I'm not saying any of these mods are ricer mods. They're just not mods. They're just, you know, little personal touches, I guess you can call them, but, but yeah. Debadging a car, I think, is not a real mod. At that point, debadging a car is just, you know, altering the car's look how you like it. It's not a mod. It's not increasing or decreasing anything. Yeah, you can make your car look a little bit better. I know a lot of people love debadging, like BMWs and Infinity. Some people do it for social status, you know, to make sure people don't know exactly what car they have. You know, you buy a 3 Series BMW, you debadge, and it looks like damn near all the other BMWs as well because they all look damn near the same. 
Um, the 3 Series looks similar to the 5 Series. You can tell differences if you really look at them, but they look really similar to a normal person. They look very similar. Um, but a lot of people do it for social status. A lot of people just don't like where the badges are placed and shit like that, which I don't blame them. I know like the Camaro badges, they're kind of placed in weird areas and shit. And uh, everyone has their own reason for doing it. Like I said, none of these mods are really ricer mods. I just wouldn't consider them a mod. Like I said, think back to if you're at a car meet and you're asking someone to break down their build list and they were like, yeah, I got the... Uh, the the KNN intake why am i saying KNN yeah i got the uh aftermarket intake i have a throttle body i have uh long tube headers full custom exhaust and then they said plastic dip my wheels like that's like eh, i mean i guess but it's not really a mod like that's not really what you're asking you're asking like the important shit you know what you're putting time and money into for the most part you want to know what they got um, and that's, you know, if they're saying these things, they're really scratching the bottom of the barrel. But yeah, like I said, just because these mods are on this list does not mean they are ricer mods. This list is just, I don't consider these mods. I know you guys can't see me, but I'm doing quotes right now. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up my rant right here. It is 2.30 in the morning. I am going to edit this video for the most part and then probably go to bed. I don't know what I'll have in the background. I'll probably go out cruising tomorrow and throw some Go GoPro footage or something in the background. We'll see what I got. But um, we'll do that. If you guys enjoyed this video and want a part two or something like that, let me know down in the comments. If you have any video ideas, let me know as well. Join the Peacock Flock. Until next video, peace.